Hello, Jorvin here. While I work through the next big Space Age mod, I thought I'd quickly talk about the small mods which make the big ones easier. I've got both vanilla mods and ones for Space Age. This video ended up being a much longer than I thought, so let's get started. With Auto Deconstruct, any mining drills that run out of ore beneath them will automatically be marked for deconstruction. So if I were to plug in these mining drills over a very small ore patch, once they run out, they will be marked for deconstruction and the bots can come to take them away. This makes mines better to visualize on how low they are on ore. Plus, it just helps you save time from having to mine up all of these by hand. These two mods will automatically color your locomotives and wagons depending on the item they are carrying. By default, only locomotives will be colored. So if you want to paint your wagons as well, go into Settings, and then Mod Settings, and then enable the Paint Cargo and Fluid Wagon settings. Below that, you can also set the default colors that trains will set themselves to when they're not carrying anything at all. By default, this is a light gray. So if I give this train some green chips, they will both automatically paint themselves green. And with the fluid train, if I just cheat in some light oil like this, and the train fills, it will be painted yellow. This is especially fun when you have some sort of generic train system or the LTN mod, so that trains can be constantly switching colors depending on what they are carrying. Belt Visualizer is pretty much like the old Pipe Visualizer mod that got integrated into the base game. This mod will add a button to your quick bar, which when pressed and you hover your mouse over a belt, it will highlight the entire belt line connected to that one, and will detect this through side loading, undergroundies, splitters, what have you. Bottleneck Light is a more lightweight and UPS friendly version of the original bottleneck mod. All this will do is add a little indicator light onto every crafting machine and mining drill, which will color code itself based on its current status. So being red if the building is unpowered or out of ingredients, green if it's working normally, or yellow if its output is full. Calculator UI. It's a calculator. That's it. Disco Science. Ready for a rave? Your labs will shine up with the colors of whatever science packs they are consuming with the current technology. Now this will go all the way from just red science to all 12 at the end of Space Age. Unfortunately, this doesn't work with the biolabs from Space Age, so the party won't last forever. Even Distribution is probably my single favorite mod of all time, and it's automatically included in all of my mod games. When holding an item, hold Control plus left click, and then drag the item over a range of buildings that can accept it and the items will be split among them instead of just having placing a full stack in the first two buildings or so. This is immediately useful pretty much in any stage of the game, and I find myself really missing it whenever I play an unmodded game. Additionally, you can press Shift plus C to distribute any unneeded items from your inventory into nearby buildings. Factory Search is like an expanded function of the Map Search feature from 2.0, you can search for items being consumed, being produced, stored in chests, on a belt, by carrying by the robot, being sold as a signal, all sorts of things. So if I were to search for green chips as an example, I'll get results back for all the green chip markers here, and also in the train wagon back here as well. Additionally, if you have Space Age, this can work across all planets, or just the one you're on currently. This is very useful when you have a habit of sticking important stuff that you need into chests and then promptly forgetting where you put it, which has totally never happened to me, I swear. Filter Helper will give you context-specific shortcuts when setting filters on inserters. Normally, when you want to add a filter to an inserter, you have to first click Use Filters and then select the item from the list. If you've got Space Age and or a bunch of mods, this list can get very large very fast, and it can take some time to set up filters just through scrolling alone. With this mod, when you place an inserter grabbing from a building, you get a filter suggestion up here, which will depend on what items it can grab. We only have to click it, and then use filters. If I were to add it to a belt, then I'll get a suggestion of the two items that the belt is carrying. 
Additionally, if I were to add it to a chest, we get all the stuff that is in the container, and then I can select how many I want. I only just discovered this mod while I was making this video, and holy crap is it ever useful. I've already added it to my Space Age run, and you'll be seeing it in the next mod at Planet video. Milestones adds a new GUI which keeps track of your factory's history by marking timed milestones when you first craft certain items. By default, you have milestones for all your seven science packs, constructing rockets, trains, bots, solar panels, and certain vital kills, but this is entirely customizable. If you go into settings, you can change the values of existing milestones, or select a group and then add your own of any item, fluid, or technology. Additionally, the mod comes with presets, which will be added upon loading up Space Age, but also a number of other contents mods, the list of which will surely grow over time as more mods are created. With Rate Calculator, pressing Alt plus X and then dragging over a range of buildings will show you the exact inputs and outputs of all buildings selected. This has been somewhat supplanted with version 2.0 just flat out telling you the per second craft times on all buildings, but this is still useful for doing a bunch of things at the same time. Did you know that Factorio actually has 8 rows of quick bars? You can hold up to 4 at the same time, but I never find myself touching 5 through 8 because you have to go through 2 clicks just to change one bar. With Quick Bar Switcher, this adds a customizable keybind, defaulting to Ctrl plus Q, to instantly change all quick bars between 1 to 4 and 5 to 8. This is really great in Space Age and or modded runs when you have a lot of different items to play with and you don't want to keep going into your inventory all the time. Text Plates is probably the ultimate labeling mod, beating out even the official display panel. This mod gives you a bunch of different craftable text plates for letters, numbers, symbols, in a bunch of different metallic colors for iron, copper, plastic, and more, all in two sizes. You can either select the individual characters you want to use one at a time, or type out a larger sequence to place down at once. I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. This is great for making large signs for parts of your base where a simple display panel won't cut it, and also for making YouTube thumbnails. Driving can be annoying, especially when you're trying but can't seem to get your vehicle driving in a perfectly straight line, so you keep bumping into stuff and making work for the construction parts. With Vehicle Snap, this makes your car or tank snap to 16 angles, so you can always drive nice and straight. Keeping on the subject of vehicles, did you ever lose your car or tank but you forgot to stick a map tag on it? With Vehicle Locator button, press this button on the UI and the game will automatically ping your car, tank, Spidertron, or most other modded vehicles on the current planet. Are you not a fan of the quality names and wish they feel a bit more factorio? This was a bit of a matter of contention when quality was first announced, but the community has never really settled on a definitive replacement set of names. So, why not better to make your own? Customizable quality names makes you make the five quality tiers be anything you want, defaulting to standard, improved, superior, exceptional, and flawless. Rocket Silo Stats is not strictly a Space Age mod, you can use it in vanilla, but you'll get far more out of it here. This will add a button to the top left of your screen, which will tell you the number of rockets that you've launched, from any or all planets, and what items they've carried. In vanilla, this will only tell you the number of rockets. In this testing world, it doesn't really have anything to show for it, but in my current modded Space Age run, we can see that I've launched some 5100 rockets from all planets, which includes some 16,000 platform foundation. Is this necessary? No, not really. But it's still cool, and that's what matters. Not all quality items are created equal. Despite regular chests getting more slots per quality tier, train wagons unfortunately don't follow that same pattern. There are a few types of this mod floating around, but with quality wagons, Cargo and fluid wagons will now increase their capacities with higher quality tiers, all the way up to 100 slots in a legendary wagon. If you like trains like me, you gotta use this one. Redrawn space connections is nearly essential when playing with a bunch of modded planets. Each planet will come with its own set of connections to the vanilla, but not other modded planets, so things can get really crowded, I should know. 
Here is a star map with Cubium, Castra, and Corundum installed, and as you can see, there's a bunch of overlapping routes, and no route between Corundum and Castra, despite being right next to each other. Redrawn connections will do two things. It will create logical routes between any combination of modded and vanilla planets by deleting some connections and adding others, based on their positions on the star map. So, enabling the mod, we have a much cleaner star map. Fewer routes, but everything looks a lot cleaner. Second, all distances between planets will be adjusted based on distances on the star map. So where all inner planet routes were 15,000 before, Narvis to Vulcanus becomes 19,000, Gleba to Fulgora 28, while up here Corundum to Castra is only 9. Research Control Combinator adds a new combinator which looks identical to the consonant but acts as a trigger for researching specific technologies. Virtual signals 1 through 9 and A through N, when fed into the new combinator, will each trigger a specific Space Age Infinite technology. The full list can be seen on the mod page. For example, feeding it signal 1 is stronger explosives. We can use this to set up a decider combinator to, for example, when we ran out of agricultural science, to turn on signal 9, which is artillery damage. But like anything in the circuit network, there's a lot you can do with this. The only problem with this mod is that it doesn't seem to work for any of the infinite techs from the modded planets like Corundum or Keras, so I think this one still needs a little bit of cooking, but it still feels a very important hole in the circuit network that I want to play with. This is more of a visual mod than anything gameplay related, but it's too good not to mention. Visible Planets is probably the best Space Age mod on the portal right now, and the one that I hope gets added to the game for good. You have seen this one in my modded planet videos. This mod simply renders the current planet behind a space platform when it's stopped in orbit. Here's the art for Novice, and the other four planets as well. There's also one apparently for the Shattered Planet, if you can manage to get there. So with this mod, you're not just stuck with the default base images, there's a number of add-on mods which replace them with custom art, so pick the one you like best. I'm personally using Sharper Planets here, and you can check out Avadi's video for a showcase on some of the others. And yes, Visible Planets works with modded planets as well, with some bonuses. If you install Keras, for example, and you go to Fulgora, you can see Keras just chilling out in the background, as it should be. And that's what I got. Not that many for Space Age, but the expansion is still young, so there's bound to be more as we go on. Do you play with some small mods that weren't here? Let me know, and I might do another one of these. Until next time, you're out.